Hello and welcome to today's lesson. Uh, so for many of us in the InfoSec community, one of the many ways that we typically want to brush up our skills or our knowledge is practicing, right? And for some of us, we got in in an age where you had to go through a process of deploying your own virtual environment. I mean, up till now, we still do that. But there are so many ways for us now to find an easy way to practice our skill set. One of them is finding ways on the internet and then um, you know, practicing. And others is basically still building your own virtual environment. But now we live in the age of containerization where we can whip up things using microservices. And in the industry, Docker and Kubernetes, I would say the biggest player in it. Well, to make things a lot easier for us to learn this Docker you know, technology, the folks are so kind enough to build an environment they call the playground called Play With Docker. Essentially, this place just whips up, let's say, a sandbox environment for you to practice some, um, some Docker um, you know, concept. So it dawned on me that, well, what if I could actually build my own environment to practice my, let's say, cybersecurity skill set. For instance, if I want to learn web hacking using Matilde or some other solutions without the need of me building my own virtual environment, and this would even cost you absolutely zero dollars to do that using the Play with Docker. So, well, this today's video or today's lesson is going to be all about how we can use or take advantage of this Play With Docker instance or platform to stand up our own instances and then you know, be allocated about four hours to be able to play around um, these platforms without the need of you building your own virtual environment. So first of all, you need to head out to this URL or you can even just Google Play With Docker. Once you go in, there is one place for you to just click login and then drop in with your username and password. If you don't have, you haven't signed up already, it's very easy to sign up with Play With Docker. And then once you log in, you add to this page. Very simple and easy. You just click on start, and that is going to give you your own instance of being able to build your own images to practice Docker technologies. And as you can see, this will give you four hours of practice time enough for you to do whatever you want to do when it comes to practicing. So first of all, this is how you start your own instance. You click on add new instance and this will stand up a vanilla Linux instance for you. Now caution, this is not a full blown Linux machine. This is just a lightweight. So it wouldn't do so much heavy weight. The good thing is it will give you some information about the memory and the CPU usage. So you can also be able to track um, your resource usage. You are dropped in into this nice terminal. You can just type in ID. You can see that you run with root. Now, or if you don't like this terminal, which in my case, I don't normally use it because for cut and paste or copy and paste reasons, it's not that friendly. You can also copy the SSA string. In this case, I'll copy that and then bring up my own terminal, which I have a PowerShell terminal here right click and then paste this uh, string click enter and that should give me full control um oops here for myself to work with all right you can see that this is vanilla so now you have your own instance of a linux to work with so what if let's say we want to stand up our own version of matilda without building an entire environment of vm environment so let's go ahead and then obtain a copy of the Matilde's Docker image and then begin to work with that. All right. So now we have the Matilde's image here. So it's just a matter of Docker pool and then the image location. I hit enter and this will take a few minutes to get everything sorted out for you. All right. So once the image is successfully downloaded, we should have this. The next is we are going to start this Docker image or instance. So we'll just use this command. And essentially what it's doing with this particular command is it is going to run and then expose this port 80 
so we can access that externally. And of course, it's going to run at the background with a dash D. All right, so we hit enter and pay attention that right now we don't have any port number open here. The moment this is successful, we should have a port 80 open here for us. There we go, right? So now if we click on that, let's give it some time. Okay, there we go. So now we have a shiny Matilde up here, but it's not ready yet. So we have to go ahead and set up or reset the date on the DB. So we we'll just click on step three. We'll click on that to reset the DB for us. And now we should have a fully functional Matilde running on our play with Docker instance. So let's go ahead and test out if we can log in. Password is admin pass. And we should be logged in. So from here going, you can begin to practice all these OAPs top 2017. Um, the new one is out, but it has not been updated here yet. But you should still be able to practice some of these um, as you would have done using your own virtual machine. All right. So let's test out another way of doing this externally using, let's say, a proxy with Burp Suite. So I'm going to bring up my Burp Suite. All right. So I have my community version of Burp Suite running. So I'll head over to proxy and then open a browser. And whilst that is opening, let me go back and bring up um, monthly days URL. Let me copy that. And I'll paste that and the intercept is on. That means it's working. We go to target. We can see that this is working, but let's confirm on here. Yep, so that is also working. So again, if we go into login and then we do admin and then admin pass, that should log us in. So again, we can now work with Matilde whilst we have our burp suite intercepting traffic and then be able to manipulate and perform any of our normal or typical web hacking techniques just like you have done from a virtual machine all right so i haven't tried this out yet to find out the maximum number of instances you can run from play with docker but we can go ahead and then whip up new instance more than once. So in this case, let's assume you want to whip up, let's say, Kali instance, right, on Play with Docker. So we'll go back to the Play with Docker dashboard, click on Add New Instance, and it's going to create a new one for us. And again, let's go ahead and copy the SSH string and open up a new terminal and connect with that. So once we are connected, I am going to pull up the Kali's Docker image and have that also working for us. So this is the command we can use to obtain the Docker image of Kali Linux. Once we have that, the next thing is we are going to have to try and run and connect to that instance. And this command will do just fine for us. So right now we are connected. You can see the difference between here. This is a node that we're connected to, node two, but now we are on our instance of Kali Linux. You have to understand, as I was saying, this um, sandbox from Play with Docker is a lightweight Linux. It's not fully blown. So if you get the Kali instance up and running, Normally, you will have the vanilla Kali Linux without any tools installed. So for instance, if we want to run, let's say, Nmap, we will see that it's not found. All right. So we have to, first of all, update our Kali Linux instance. And second, do not install the entire suite of Kali on here. Otherwise, you crash your environment. Just install the tools which are necessary for you to perform any test that you want. So we'll just go ahead and maybe do, let's say, um, first of all, update the Kali instance. And then once we're done, let's install Nmap. Okay, so now with Nmap installed, if we bring in 
the end map command now that should pop up so to test out that we can actually do some stuff from this kali image with maybe nmap let's try out a scan against the scanme.nmap.org and see if that works so nmap and then let's be verbose and then it's called scanme.nmap.org and then let's only check out for open ports so this command will only scan the scanme.nmap.org for only port numbers that are open so let's confirm that there you go so that means we've now been able to run a fully function a fully functioning kali um you know image within our play with docker so um if you want to get out of here drop out of this kali just do exit if we want to later on just come in we can just do let's say um list our containers container and then list dash dash all all right and we have this container running of course to connect with this we need to start it so we just copy that and then do docker start and then paste the container id to start it and now if we want to connect to it we'll just change the start to attach oops and we're back in into our kali all right so this is what i wanted to show you of course you can apply your own imagination on how to use this beautiful platform for a quick win when it comes to learning uh you know practicing your your your, your skills um thank you for watching have a nice day